day two. I'm gonna get some breakfast and then hit the road. Sausage. Sausage and some sandwiches. All right, breakfast is done. Everybody's nice and full. Best thing about breakfast was what, baby? Yeah. Best thing about breakfast was free. Free continental breakfast. No, Love it was this. more than a continental breakfast. Oh, it yes. had because it had warm eggs and sausage and like what else? Pie, Coffee. Co no, <laughs> and uh, waffles, homemade waffles. Yeah, you could make Oatmeal. your own waffles. Yeah. And they also had yogurt. Yeah. And they also had muffins, bagels, bagels. It was a good breakfast nonetheless. So now we're gonna go to Walmart because it's the only store here. We need to get some supplies. I need allergy medicine. We need to get some bread for lunch and some other little stuff. We got some some Visine, cough drops, and uh, some pills. Waiting on uh, Brenda, she had to run inside, she forgot something. It's eight o'clock in the morning and it's 69 degrees already. So yeah, it's gonna be super hot. Maka did get a whoopee cushion. Oh. Okay, so we got to Jewel Taverns, but we missed a time frame, so we're gonna have to come back later. This, this guy guy's drives fault. so slow. No, it's this guy's fault. So this guy stopped at Walmart. Driving, I was driving a like a scenic route. I was driving like a Californian. Okay, so we gonna do something for now until 11:35. climb up there I'm not that very adventurous so I'm not gonna climb that's too much for me I got a bad leg <laughs> Tim's over there somewhere Malachi's over there they're all somewhere around there somewhere I think they're coming down we're gonna go through this tunnel it's pretty tight this is why I don't climb stuff So we're still trekking. It's starting to get really hot, but we're having fun. Look at this wilderness, man. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's just like everything. I just wish I had like a little cabin down there. Like if I could get a cabin just right here and that would be my back view. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing one day. Just spoke to some bikers that drove out here from Indiana. They're having a blast. Uh, he's like 66 years old, riding a Harley. Super fun. How you doing? It's hot. Yeah, it's hot in here. It's not that hot. We're baking. Look at the baking. If you get out of the car, walk around and cool oh, you down. Yeah, I kind of have to use the bathroom, but I'm not to hold it. So and this kid doesn't know how to eat pistachios. Jake, yeah. bite him for him and then no. put it in his mouth. <laughs> like a baby bird. Like a baby bird. bird, man. You can chew it too. You go like this. Are you having fun? Yes, I am. Yeah? Yes, I'm hot though. You are hot. <laughs> Alright, shall we head down? Yeah, let's go. Pulled over so we could check this hole in the wall place here. Here's the bathrooms. Bathrooms are pretty nasty. At the lake. 
Huh? Gonna have lunch. Come here. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches is what's up. And bagels with cream cheese. Bagels and cream cheese. Light lunch. How you feeling? Good. Good. Don't, don't fall into the lake, baby. I'm falling trying to film. You know, it's hard work vlogging. It takes skill. It's hazard that comes with vlogging. Because you don't know if you're going to step in a hole, or in, stop in a hole and fall. Or doctor, this is a horse poop. Horse poop, bear so poop. I don't know what kind of poop. By the way, I use a Lumix G7. It's a micro four thirds camera. I love vlogging with this thing. It is super light. It is awesome to vlog with. The only problem I have with it is the autofocus. I'm sure you've seen in some of the vlogs that the autofocus is all over the place. So besides that, it is a great vlogging camera. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, maybe the G85, but this is good enough. It does the job. Lunch is done. Now we're gonna, girls wants to go swimming, but uh, I'm not gonna get in the water. I can't swim to save my life. So I'll probably drown and die here. <laughs> and then there'll be no more vlogs. And then there'll be no more vlogs. And I know you guys don't want the vlogs to end. I could feel it in my heart. So we getting ready to get out of here, go to the wildlife, see some animals. Water was cold. But after a while you get used to it. You know, taking time off to spend with family is probably the greatest thing someone can do. I love spending time with my family, but with my job, I'm working 10 hour days, five days a week. That's 50 hours a week. So I barely get to see them with my day job. This is great, just to unwind no stress of work and just hang out with family and just get to know each other a little bit more. So I suggest if you have a family, take them out on a vacation. You don't have to spend a lot of money to do it either. Just get away from everything, technology, everything. And I guarantee it will be the best thing you will ever do. Chips everywhere. Okay, so we just came back to Jewel Cave. Got my tickets. Or well, art tickets. We got in here for free because Ezra's in fourth grade. Was in fourth grade. And we're gonna explore this cave. It's supposed to be 50 degrees in there. Hey Tim. What up? You have the tickets? Money. Got them. Got the tickets. Just got down with the cave. I couldn't feel much in there because it was super dark. But that guy knew a lot. I forgot everything he said. <laughs> what kind of uh, I don't know, it's a rock. a rock. I just know it was dark and scary. And cold. And cold. It was lovely. The, the cold was amazing. What was it? How was it for you? It's traumatizing. I was crying. Yeah. You're out at least. I am getting some coins type thing. Those ones. And. A token album and passport book. I'm geeking out. I'm geeking out. So now we're heading to the Bells Camp. We're gonna have some hot dog, hamburgers, no, s'mores, bonfire. Hot dogs, bonfire, s'mores. Chili, chili dogs, bonfire, s'mores. Then we're gonna go home. Well, not home, hotel, later on tonight. 7.15, so we got about a, two hours before the sun drops. Right now we're making hot dogs with chili. Chili dogs. Day 
number two is done. It is 10, 10 p.m. and everybody's tired. As you can see, she is out like a light. As was taking a shower, he's waiting his turn to take a shower. Then mommy's gonna take a shower. Then I'm gonna take a shower. Then we're gonna go sleep. Tomorrow we plan on sleeping in a little bit. And then we're gonna head to Deadwood. So we're gonna visit Deadwood. After that we're gonna go to this dinosaur park. So hopefully it's fun. We're gonna link up with our friends again. Just like we did today. And that will be day three. We'll see what it holds for us. Till tomorrow. Peace.